Hello friends and welcome to HQ webinar version 2.0. So first we'll log in. I put in my username and password. And after that, I click on the create new webinar button to create a new webinar. I want to create a live webinar now. I'll give it a title as digital marketing. I'll set the time zone. It's correct, Indian Standard Time. And I don't want to upload a picture now. And uh, I'll give it a tag like SEO, Meta. All right. Now I can select a date. I want to do it for tonight. So I'll choose the time from here. It is 7:57 current currently. So I'll schedule it for. 8 p.m. Yeah. No, you cannot set a time that is in five minutes range of the current time. So I'll set it for 8 5 p.m. Correct. Now I'll save it. Now you have the webinar details. You can upload a picture from the for the webinar here too, and you can edit the tags as well. You can switch off the chat if you want and you can select your chat preference that is is your chat public or private public chat means that presenter can message anyone and message from anyone would be displayed not only to the presenter but to every person in the room and here you have redirection URL if you select it then you, have, you can enter a custom link where you want to redirect your attendees after the webinar like for now suppose I'm putting this link and uh, you can also select if your webinar is paid or free this paid version is available only in the commercial license it is not available in the personal license you can add the description of webinar here so it's uh, an introduction to the digital marketing course all right and I click on the save button to save it and now I click on join room Yeah, here I am in the join room. I'll walk you through the features. So to start your video or mic, click on this button. It will initialize the video. There you can see me. Hello. The picture is a little dark because I like to sit in a dark room when I work. And uh, is the backstage notes you can add a note here like uh, if you want to give some free subscription to some attendee you can write here give free copy to some email id email.com right if you go back you see that it is already saved and then you go to the chat currently you do not have any registrant so who would you chat with so in this case I will register a registrant first of all let me switch off my camera all right here is the description about the webinar I'll add the person Martha at the rate uh, at qwebinar.com register the person has now successfully registered okay, so the countdown 
says that we still have 3 minutes and 50 seconds to go. By the time being, I'll walk you through the other features of the presenter's room. Here you have a list of attendees and the co-hosts. The attendees are your subscribers and the co-hosts share they share the they share the stage with you okay here you have a live stream url as soon as you click the button your link is already copied and uh, you can paste it in the obs that is the open broadcasting software to broadcast your webinar on youtube or facebook live then the next you have install a chrome extension i already have this extension installed on my laptop so i will not install it again and the next one is to start screen share you can share your screen like if you want to share the excel powerpoint or uh, some video this is the button to start and stop the camera to start and, and stop the mic and uh, this button says that it you can start the webinar from here only after you start the webinar you have the option for recording mind you in version 2.0 we are not recording all the webinars so you have to click this button so if you want your webinar to be recorded this is the CTA and the handouts the CTA can be sent from here you can chat with the person okay so we have one minute and 38 seconds now left okay so I am now inviting a co-host suppose his name is Neeraj I'll add this coordinator the Gordon Red link is already sent and uh, for now I'll open the coordinators link as well in my tab only so that I can show you how these things work here I start the webinar and you can see that I'm online you can see me and uh, in the coordinator window you can see me and even in the viewer here the viewer sees that he is watching live so if he wants the full screen of the presenter he can view it like this isn't it cool only the face and uh, now I'll, this button is for viewing the full screen of the screen share so suppose the presenter decides to share his screen I don't have any other screen I'll uh, drag it over here alright so I want to share my sublime text window so now I want to share this document live with the viewers as you can see in the coordinators window you can see this document and same is the case with the viewer so it's working perfectly fine all right and now if I want to full screen my screen share I click on this window and there I go I have this on my full screen you can go back to the original view by clicking on the cross button and now yes one more thing in the version 2.0 as I said earlier you have to start the recording the recording will not be started unless you do it manually now the recording is on and uh, do remember 
to stop the recording before ending the webinar so I click on this one and uh, I want to send a CTA message now I'll uh, write uh, buy now to avail 10% off the CTA link is uh, for now I'll just copy this link and give it here the CTA button text should say buy now or any attractive message you feel like sharing and I want to share it for three minutes all right so I've shared this it is shared with the coordinator and with the when I click on this stop sharing in webinar button it prompts me again if I have clicked on this button by mistake so if I click on yes the viewer will automatically get redirected to the thank you page as I said before he can rate the webinar from here the ratings will be saved for you to view later and you are redirected to the to your events thank you